go in and think about what the end results are going to be from some well, of your it's actions not that, that you take. Once you get in the, in the business of saying, to make it fairer so that the hardships of life are, are more widely distributed. You can call it fair or you can call it more generous. Mm -hmm. But either way, they mean the same thing. They want the hardships of life to be mitigated for some people. That means other people can sell things to the government that they use in helping unfortunate people. And people have a different idea about the government. They think it's mildly cheating. The government's all right. It's a big, dumb bureaucracy. Everybody's in, they're engaged in manipulating us so they can live well. Of course, we can flag a little so we can live well. And therefore, it's OK to cheat, to cheat the government. And the cheating of the government is so extreme. If I could just wave a wand and take all the cheating out of the workman's comp system, who could not be in favor of the workman's comp system? Yeah. It says if you're injured in course of doing your job that makes you a living and feeds your children, and now you can't function for a while, the government will lift down and give you a lifting hand. That's why they created compulsory workman's comp insurance, because it was just seemed unfair that some people got so utterly clobbered by things that weren't their fault. And yet that wonderful system, it is rife with fraud. They puff their injuries up so they can get time off. They puff their injuries up so they can have extra cash. They puff their injuries up so they can get permanent disability pay. And they have doctors and lawyers that help them do it. I mean, mislead the government and unfair parents. So that in an effort to, to, to cure an unfairness, we may find that there are whole areas where the way human nature works. We have to endure more hardship and, and the unfairness that comes with it. There was now, the ordinary rich person who talks that way is talking because he wants to hold all his wealth. And keep a great and make the disparity between his wealth and wealth of ordinary people get greater and greater. That's his ambition. But it doesn't work that he gets what he wants. The ordinary outcome for the well to do families is they go back to the mean. If you looked at somebody as rich as the Rockefellers, mm -hmm. and that was really rich by the standards of ordinary human beings. Even the Rockefellers will eventually go back to the main. Pretty close anyway. It just happens. It's, there's a lot of misfortune out there, that, both fiscal and other kinds. And it takes it down one after another.